Hello, I'm doing my first six point review in a long time. And they are finally dabbling in super hazy IPAs at six point and they're shipping them to a wider range of places. I think they used to do special <clears throat> like uh, releases of some hazy IPAs just in the New York City area. They even like made an app for it. Um, but this one has been everywhere at a pretty reasonable price. Six pack of this, it goes for like 13 bucks. They are 12 ounce cans. But a lot of the people who review things that I like have said this is really good. It has a pretty wild hop combo. It's with Sabro and Cashmere and Idaho 7. Three pretty unique hops. Sabro is just exploding onto the scene. Everyone's using it and talking about the crazy coconut notes it makes. <clears throat> Cashmere, I feel like, makes its own kind of sweet, spicy notes. Maybe they're more like vanilla, but um, might still have their own coconut sort of thing. And Idaho 7, um, that hop seems to be... <laughs> I don't even remember what the notes I get from that hop. I haven't really had it. And a lot of beers too much lately. So this is 6 point, or 8.2% alcohol, <clears throat> and it was canned on January 13th. That makes it, today is the 7th, so like four weeks old, well under a month old, should be in good shape. Don't know anything about the malts in here, there's probably some wheat and or oats or something like most of these, these beers, ooh, already getting a, an aroma and have a nice car alarm over there, so let's check it out. Quite hazy, not murky hazy, but it's a little dark. Yeah, there's some light coming through there. I can sort of see my finger, but because it's a little darker, it makes it look hazier. And you know, maybe, maybe there's some <clears throat> some more haze on the bottom of the can, but I'm already smelling it, and it smells really unique. Head's pretty good. Not my favorite, but fine. Yeah, the appearance is not perfect. I would say, but not scary. <laughs> it's not murky. It actually does have a head. A lot of these hazy IPAs don't always look very nice in my opinion. Whew. Yeah, that's weird. I can tell it's a little strong. I, it's not really has, it doesn't have boozy notes. It just has, I don't know. I can just tell that it, it's going to have a kick to it. But it's, it's, it's coconutty, but there's an incense leathery, almost spice to it. And maybe a little bit of like marshmallow. I guess Ambrosia Salad describes it pretty well, like that coconut marshmallow <clears throat> canned fruit salad has that going on for sure. But especially when it comes to the marshmallowy coconut notes, which I've been using that description Ambrosia Salad to you know, explain what's going on in a lot of these hazy IPAs, but usually those are ones where I'm getting big, like, pineapple notes, like the pineapple tidbits in Ambrosia Salad. But this one, those seem to be a more, you know, subdued. This is all about sweet, nutty candy spices, and not it's not very fruity in the aroma. Cream soda, almost. Yeah, it reminds me of a cream soda, not, not quite root beer. It's fun. I don't know if I really, that's my favorite aroma, but I could, I could probably acquire a taste for it. Mm. On the tongue, it's a little bit more normal. The carbonation, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's not my favorite carbonation. It's kind of spritzy, kind of even smells like it has a musky, minerally uh, soda water thing going on. Yeah, the mouthfeel isn't really creamy. It's got some weight to it, but it's not that full. And then it finishes with a little bit of booziness on the, on the throat, a little bit of burn, but pretty low in bitterness and like chalky hot burn. It's, I'm talking about just burn from alcohol heat, <clears throat> though it's not especially boozy. And then the finish, it lingers with a nicer coconut note than I feel like I got before. I kind of like how it lingers. It's pretty, 
it's a very pina colada like now the pineapples seems to be coming in so this is like a backwards beer for me it's like the fruit notes are coming in at the end it's <clears throat> really really fun i guess it's, uh, the smell when I first got my nose in there, it was almost not quite off-putting, but I think that's why this beer has kind of low ratings. If they had done something like this, but then used Citra and Mosaic, it would probably have you know well over four rating. This I think is like a three point eight five or something like that on on Untapped. But a lot of people I know have been like, "Whoa, this is really awesome." Yeah, this, the nose is. I guess it's almost like half of ice in you. That might be one weird aspect to it. The coconut combined with Hefeweizen quality, because I think they're clearly using a different yeast than they usually do for this at six point. It's so different from their other IPAs. And I think that yeast has some uh, slight, you know, slight banana notes. There's, actually, now that I think about it, it's that, uh, I'm pretty darn sure there's some isoamyl acetate in here. Yeah, it's got banana and pear notes. <clears throat> I, mean, I guess bananas also often in ambrosia salad along with marshmallows and, and pineapple and mandarin oranges. Yeah, it's it's a fun beer. Um, but I, I don't know, the Sabro Hop, I go back and forth on it, whether I think it's just pretty good or if I really think it's super interesting and really worth it. I, I'm wishing that people would mix Sabro with Citra. Of course, you mix anything with Citra, it's usually gonna be good, but there are these creamy, um, notes that aren't quite coconutty and citra that I feel like with Sabro we would combine and make uh, the creamy pina colada citrusy beer of my dreams. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it just uh, almost seems like one of these type of ice and IPAs that some breweries are sort of testing out using not a not a uh, uh, sort of New England or London ale yeast to get to make their New England IPAs, but using actually Hefeweizen yeast. And I don't know, I wish there was a little bit more bitter. Um, I could probably see if a little bit of the bottom has some haze that'll add a little more hop intensity. Because it is quite hoppy, but it's not bitter, it's not exploding my mouth with hop greenness. It's It's a very mild drink, I guess I would say. It's almost like like a dry hopped Weizenbach. A Weizenbach is usually, usually that means a basically an imperial type of Weizen. Mm -hmm. I think it's a successful beer, but there are just, yeah, some things about the yeast. I don't want that much banana coming out in my, in this beer. And I'm, and it has kind of a tangy, Belgian-y weird thing going on in the feel. The carbonation feels weird. It's, it's missing some of the finer points that really make a hazy IPA, you know, worth lining up for, but for, you know, being able to buy a single of this for like $3, <clears throat> it's a really interesting and good double IPA. So I'd give it, I guess maybe a four. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I could tweak a few things. I hope they play around with their yeast a little bit more, but, if they keep doing new ones like this, I would definitely spend $3 on, on getting a can of it. It's worth it. So yeah, this is close to a four for me around there. Bye.